Hi, just wanted to show an example of how to use code blocks for a very real world example, right? So in this case, <coughs> making a metal plate with the cylinder so I can mount stuff there. And um, what I did here is because this part can be very highly configurable is create a series of variables. So I'm going to start and play step by step. So the first variables are going to be the radius for the plate, right? which creates the first cylinder. And I also added a thickness for the height. And I took the side to 32, so it looks um, much, uh, much smoother. So I'm just playing one by one, and this is the cylinder. The next step is just because I do really always like to have objects sitting on the grid and gold blocks basically put things based on the centroid of the object. The next one is a a move block that takes the thing up on Z uh, and, uh, and its thickness divided by two, right? So at this point, it's always a, a function of thickness. There you go. So next one, we're gonna add the cylinder on top of that plate. And I define another variable called radius cylinder and I'm using another variable called height. So easy. And then of course, taking it up on the Z by height divided by two. Perfect. Now things get more fun now. I'm gonna make the hole that goes inside. In this case, it's yet another cylinder and I'm gonna be using the radius of the previous cylinder minus the thickness to always have a uh, kind of a, a shell here that has the same thickness as the blades on the down, right? And of course, I'm gonna use the same height as before and I'm also gonna be moving the thing up to the same location. So basically here, here's the hole where it should belong. And then the next block is a, a group block, which basically creates what I want, which is this. Now let's add the holes. In order to make the holes, I'm gonna create yet another cylinder, which in this case is gonna have a hole diameter. In general, the holes are defined by diameters and the rate here, we need the radius for, this, for the shape. So I'm just doing a whole diameter divided by two. And then for the height, I also added a, a variable, which is thickness uh, by three. The reason I did this is that um, depending on the thickness you have, um, you may also want to increase the height of the cylinder that's gonna be cutting that. Um, and I could have just added a, a very high value there, but I wanted to, to make it also a function of the, of the thickness. So. So as I play this, here's what I get, right? So I get this this little object, right? And uh, this is going to be um, now looped around the whole section, right? So, um, so the first next thing you have to do is copy on a loop, and the loop has a function called quantity, right? So I'm going to copy as a whole. And then I'm going to rotate around the z-axis. The quantity is 360 divided degrees divided by quantity. So I also have the, the it's evenly spread across kind of this uh, radial polar array. And uh, it's always done from, in this case, from the from the center, from the pivot. So, so then if I just keep playing this thing, It and then I just group it, and I should get the plate perfect. There you go. Now let's play with it a little bit. So we can now say I want a thickness of two, and I'm going to play the whole thing. There you go, thicker. Uh, I'm going to decrease the radius plate to 22. You see the holes stay where they have to be. Um, the radius of the cylinder, let's take it to 12. So this is basically some sort of configurator that can help you on, on objects that, uh, that have, that they have the same sort of the, the, the parametric objects. At the end of the day, this is basically using Tinkercad to make a parametric object. And this is almost like a basic configurator that you can you can use this shape as many times as you want. Uh, if you if 
if it basically complies with the rules of the variables that I just added. Um, I also made this shape public, so you can use it, copy it, uh, learn from it. I added comments, so I, I think it's a fun thing to do and a way, good way to learn code blocks. Okay, well, thank you for all your attention.